Welcome back to the Hot to Best Daily Pick Show for Saturday, April 2nd. Back with some NBA action for today. Now, we don't have a huge card on slate for Saturday, but do have a couple of games that I do like. Before we get to that, quickly taking a look back at Friday's picks. I am recording this a little bit earlier on Friday. So the Raptors are currently up at the half. The Timberwolves game um, still has quite a bit here before it tips off. So don't have the results for those ones quite yet, but definitely check the community tab here on YouTube as well as Twitter and, of course, hottipbest.com to see the results for both of those games from Friday's card. But without further ado, let's get into Saturday's game. Now, starting off Saturday's show, we're taking a look at the Hornets taking on the 76ers. Hornets come into this game 40 and 37 on a year. The 76ers are 46 and 30. Hornets come into this game 17th in the hot tip bet rankings. The 76ers are 9th, and both these teams have been very, very hot as of late. 76ers winning 7 of their last 10 games. The Hornets 8 of their last 10 games. This Hornets team looked very, very solid against New York on Wednesday night. And, you know, while the 76ers do lead the series this this season got a 2-1 lead over the Hornets. The Hornets were able to cover all three of those games. They've been, you know, three close battles um, so far this season. And I think we're going to see the same here, especially Gord with Gordon Hayward returning to the lineup for this Hornets team. Huge news coming out for this Hornets squad um, on Friday. We'll definitely boost them up in this game. And with that, there's really no injuries to report for either one of these teams, which is what you love to see this late in the season. For this Hornets team, Miles Bridges is their leading scorer with 20.3 points per game. He's been a stud for them this year year LaMelo Ball also been great dropping 20 points per game and overall the Hornets have done an amazing job shooting the ball this season a 54 effective field goal percentage ninth best in the league they'll sit in 36.2 percent from beyond the arc and they have struggled a little bit from the free throw line only 73.9 percent which could definitely be a problem in this game especially going up against the 76ers team um, but they've by no means been a bad shooting team but neither of the 76ers I mean Joel Embiid obviously has been crazy this year averaging 30 points per game absolutely insane saying James Harden also dropping 22.7 points per game this year um, and as a whole the 76ers probably are a step below the Hornets at least you know shooting wise a 52.8 effective field goal percentage they're 19th in the league in that category 35.8 percent from beyond the arc but the Hornet or the, the 76ers are the number one free throw shooting team in the country, hitting 82% from the free throw line. So they do have that advantage going for them. Offensively, I'd still give the overall edge to the Hornets. Seventh offensive efficiency coming into this one, while the 76ers are 13th on the offensive side of the ball. But the 76ers certainly have the advantage on the defensive side of things. Ninth in defensive efficiency. Well, the Hornets have struggled a little bit coming into this one, 23rd on the defensive side of the ball. But really, the Hornets have more than made up for their lack of defense with the offense, at least in enough it's been able to hold get them through games you know hold them where they're at and one thing that the, the Hornets have done a great job at doing this season is not turning the ball over they do a really good job holding on to their possessions only turning it over on 11.4 percent of their possessions but the 76ers have also done a decent job in the turnover department they as well are only turning the ball over on 11.4 percent of their possessions but defensively the Hornets actually do have the slight advantage in the turnover department they're forcing a 13 percent turnover percentage the seventh best team in the league in that category. That's one area where the 76ers have actually struggled a little bit, only forcing an 11.9 turnover percentage, 18th in the country in that category. And I really see this game going very similar to the previous matchups this season. I think the 76ers team is going to struggle to pull away in this game. I think offensively, the Hornets get this thing done. I think they score a lot of points. I think Gordon Hayward being back in the lineup is going to be a huge addition for this Hornets team. And I think they get the season sweep as, well, as far as cover go um, in this matchup I think they they keep this game close so I'm taking the Hornets plus six here against the 76ers now moving down the card taking a look at the late games the heat taking on the Bulls he comes into this game 49 and 28 on the year the Bulls are 45 and 32 heat the fifth overall team in the hot tip bet rankings of the Bulls 16th overall he come into this game following a great win over Boston on Wednesday night um, but the Bulls you know somehow battled against the Clippers force overtime are able to win that game able to cover that game which was great news for us um, as we bet on the Bulls in that matchup but when we look back at the heat 
played Bulls so far this season. It's been a Heat-dominated series. They've won the first three meetings. They've covered the first three meetings, and they're looking to do the same thing here. Um, do have some injuries as far as the Heat go. Um, Struts, Vincent, Martin are all three questionable for this game. No one, you know, big name for them um, is really much of concern, but three guys to definitely take a look at in this matchup. Zach Valine, Zach Levine is also probable with a knee injury for this Bulls team, but he had the same thing in that last game, ended up playing. It really does look like he's going to be end up playing in this one, and they definitely want him the Bulls do from a shooting standpoint. I mean, DeMar DeRozan has been great shooting the basketball this year, 28 points per game for him. But Zach Levine being their second leading scorer, uh, when he's in the lineup, they're certainly a much better basketball team, 24.6 points per game for him this season. And overall, the Heat have been, or the Bulls, sorry, have been a good shooting team, a 50. 4.2 effective field goal percentage, 37% from beyond the arc, and they're hitting 81.2% of their free throws. But the Heat have really been equally as good on the offensive side of the ball. Jimmy Butler leads them with 21.3 points per game. Tyler Hero dropping 20.6 points per game. And overall, a very similar stat line to this Bulls squad shooting the basketball as a team. A 54.2 effective field goal percentage. They're hitting 37.2% from beyond the arc. They're actually the second best three-point shooting team in the country. Bulls the third best. So two really good teams from beyond the arc. And they're also 81% from the free throw line. So offensively, these two teams are very, very good. Bulls eighth in offensive efficiency while the Heat are the 12th overall team on the offensive side of the ball but the Heat have a major advantage in this game defensively fifth on the defensive side of the ball the Bulls have struggled a little bit more 21st on the defensive side of the basketball and it is that Bulls defense that definitely concerns me we know saw it be a little bit of a problem against the Clippers at least early in that game the offense was able to battle and come back late um, but one area the Bulls have certainly struggled this year um, at least on the offensive side of things is in the rebound department only pulling down 20.1 percent off the offensive glass the 28th worst team in the country in that category we look over to the Heat they've done a much better job on the offensive glass pulling down 23.7%, 11th best team in the country um, in that category. Defensively, though, both these teams have been solid rebounding the ball. He pulling down 78%, 8th best in the league, while the Bulls pulling down 78.3%, 4th best in the league. So um, this game really comes down to the defense, I think, for the Heat. You know, offensively, these two teams, very, very even. I think they're both able to get it done on that side of the basketball. And it really comes down to if the Heat want to cover this game, how well they can do shutting down Zach Levine, how well they can do shutting down DeMar DeRozan. Um, and I think they'll be able to do that we've, we've seen them you know be able to to compete and um, play well against this Bulls team so far this season I think they continue to show that even on the road here I think the Heat defensively are just a much much better team so I'm taking the Heat minus two here against the Bulls and that wraps it up for Saturday's NBA card. Now, if you haven't already taken a look at the Final Four video for today, definitely go check that video out on the channel. Posted that a couple days ago so you don't miss out on any of my college basketball picks there. As well as if you want to see sports betting stuff for everything happening today, head over to hottobets.com. Got college basketball, NBA, NHL picks all from the computer model up there. As well as follow the Hot to Bets main account on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok to stay up to date with all of the computer model action and all of the picks that it's giving out. Results are as always are up on the website for that as well also if you haven't already followed my personal account at hot to best chris on twitter and instagram make sure you follow there so you don't miss out on any of the picks that i give out on here on youtube or any of the content that i'm putting out and if you are watching here on youtube hit that like button subscribe to the channel hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on any future content and most importantly drop a comment down below let me know who you guys are betting on for saturday's nba card and thanks for watching today's show i will see you guys tomorrow.